Hello, everyone. Welcome to another help video for Build 5, Data Analysis and Design for Biologists. I'm Dr. Miller. This video is a direct follow-up to Dr. Ruther's Accessing Our Studio from Data Hub video. In this video, we'll discuss a few settings and options that I personally like to change to make working in our studio a more pleasant experience for me. And hopefully you'll learn a few things about how to modify this program for your benefit uh, since we'll be spending a lot of time with this program in this class. My biggest pet peeve about working in R is needing to side scroll for long lines of text. So you'll see here on lines three and on line seven that these lines of text go further than the edge of this uh, part of the program, this part of the box. And, and, and we have to scroll all the way over to just to read what these lines of code do. Now, there are two ways to fix this problem. One, for text that is uh, denoted by a note, which means it starts with one of these little hashtags, we can press Control, Shift, and Slash, and our studio will automatically uh, cut that line of text into as many lines as it needs to fit on the page of your screen. However, this trick doesn't work for lines of actual code because we can't comment them out. We can't hash them out. And there's a much more elegant solution to both uh, the issues plugging line three and line seven. And that's to change the option in our global options for R. And the way we do that is we go to tools, global options, code, we want to select soft wrap R source files. And once we select that, make sure that box is checked, we can click apply, and you'll see that we are able to read that entire line of text and that entire line of code without needing to side scroll. And that's just the setting that I really like to change. Since in this class, we'll be working a lot in R Markdown, Make sure that you also, if you like this change, make sure you also do it in the R Markdown tab and make sure that soft wrap R Markdown files is checked and you click apply. Now, when we're in this options uh, box, there are a few other options that I like to point out for people new to R Studio uh, that they might like to change. One of them is the pane layout. You can see here that I have my source pane in the top left, I have the console pane. In the bottom left, I have the environment and a few other um, tabs in the top right. And I have the plots and a few other uh, tabs in the bottom right. This is just the way I like it, but you're free to click any of these drop down menus to change it in a way that works better for you. And different people use different layouts, it's completely personal preference. Let me change mine back. Another thing that is personal preference, but might really alter uh, how much you enjoy working in this program is the appearance. And so we have an entire appearance tab here. We can modify the theme of our studio. That looks very different than it once did. We can modify the appearance uh, with the font and the font size and the um, editor theme. And this is different colors for the, your different types of text. Some of my favorites are Twilight, Vibrant Ink, and Clouds, if I'm working in light mode. Uh, but these are just my favorites, and yours are probably totally different. But play around with some of these settings, as well as uh, any of the others that you like. Maybe turn the spell check off if you hate having red lines under a bunch of weird code words anyway. Uh, but I find it very helpful for mistyping a word, which is often where errors come from in this program. But uh, play around with your options to get a R Studio experience that works best for you. Uh, thanks for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.